why Google's not working inside Schoology. How do I fix it? Let's take a look. There are a lot of different reasons why the connection between Google's workplace and Schoology can sometimes break and stop working. And that's certainly frustrating both for us as teachers and for our students. So let's take a look at your end as a teacher, the three things you can do to fix the connection between Schoology and Google. Now, it doesn't often require all three steps to be done, but this is the foolproof way we've seen of making sure that connection is reset. Let's take a look. As a teacher, the first thing I'm going to do is reset the Google resource app inside Schoology. So I'm gonna log into Schoology and then select the resources app on the top menu bar of my Schoology page. From there, I'll see on the left-hand side at the bottom is an option for apps. I'm going to click on that. Now, I only have the Google Drive resource app loaded on this account, and that may be the case for you. You might have some others. If this is the first time you're connecting it, it may ask you right now to connect. But to reset the connection, I can click on the Options button and then select Account Settings. From here, it'll show me who I'm logged in as. Now, just because it says that I'm logged in doesn't mean the connection's working. If I clicked connect, that's going to reset my account. I can select that same email address and say allow. That is step one of reestablishing the account. Now, step two happens in a course. In this case, I'm going to go to a make-believe course that I have here, and I'm going to uh, add a material, and you can do this in any of your courses. It only has to be done once. I'm going to select add an assignment, and then click the Google Drive Assignments uh, button. Now, I'm not gonna actually add anything, but we're gonna do a very similar process. We're going to say Options, Account Settings, and then uh, I'm going to log out, because there's not a Connect button, and there's my Connect button. And again, I'm gonna select that same email address I used before and say Allow. And that's step two. Now, step three is going to be in a course that you already have a Google Drive assignment in. So let me just uh, switch over to a different account where I have that started. All right, so here I am in a course that we can see already has a Google Drive assignment in it. I'm gonna click to go into that assignment. And when I head over to the In Progress or Submissions tab, if I go to In Progress, there's a link that says, can't see your document? click here. Now, when I click that link, nothing happens. And that's because this student hasn't opened the document yet. So I'm gonna go find someone that has opened it. And when I click here, it gives me that familiar uh, window to connect. And again, I'm going to select my email that I've used for the other two steps and say allow. Now, you, don't, you do not have to go to every single course and do this step. You only have to do those two steps, step two and step three, in one course, and it applies to all. But that, as a teacher, is how you can reset your connection between Google and Schoology in three easy steps.